Hello and welcome to a new EasyDigitals.com video tutorial. Don't forget to sign up for our monthly newsletter. Okay Kim, what easy tutorial are you going to show us today? Today I want to show you how to customize Quick Poster Volume 8. Right now I have my poster up and I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the basic elements of how I have my Photoshop set up. I have my move tool selected, I have auto select layer checkmarked and show transform controls checkmarked. Over here we have our layers and if they're not showing then you can go to window and then click on layers and then the layers panel will show up. And I have these different elements of the template folders for the Photoshop version. For the elements version they are not in folders because elements doesn't support folders. But if you have the Photoshop version it's a little bit easier to organize these into the folders. So the top right now when you open it up the small circle photos will be on and the little eyeball is selected. If I turn that off then I can show you the small squares and then we have the two photos long and if you press this little triangle to, to open this you can turn off the two small folders and turn on the one large picture and that's the one we're going to use right now so I'm going to go ahead and leave that on and then we have our text and shapes on the top and if I turn that off you can see that everything that you need is in that folder and we'll work with those a little bit later and then I have the text bottom turn that off and on and all the elements in there the right layers that does not include the photo box the layer that says your large photo here and then a background which you could turn off if you wanted to and one nice thing about having them in these folders is that you can also um, easily move them around so if I just wanted to select that folder and I could come up here to auto select group and I can just move this wherever I want and I can even grab the turn this until you see this little right angle corner and I can rotate it and scoot it around however I want and then just press enter and it's in place and you can move these elements around either all at once if you have group selected or if you have just layer selected then you can move them around individually as you select them. I want to go ahead and change this back to how it was so I'm going to go ahead and click on look on on my history and actually I'm going to go yeah I'm going to go to where we have our tangle on the right selected. So now I'm going to go ahead and open my photos. I'll go ahead and start with this photo. Um, there's not really anything that's going to be messed up if I flip this photo and it's going to look better in the template. He, his shirt doesn't have any words on it or anything so I'm going to come up here to image image rotation, flip horizontally. And then I'm going to scoot that off to the side. I'm going to come over to my template. Your large photo here is going to be selected. I want it to go in right above that and I'm just going to drag it in and let go. Then I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm not going to save my changes. Um, that, that photo actually looks really good right like that but if I wanted to stretch it into place I would come over to my shift and I would come over to this corner and drag down and then press enter and then you can just you can press your shift key to make it move faster and you can just move it into place however you want and then I'm going to come up to file open grab my player or my skier and I'm going to move this off drag him. Oh wait, I want to make sure I have the right layer selected. So I'm going to come up here to my layers of my template, open this up, and come to clip long layer here. I'm going to drag it in, close that out, view, fit on screen, and I'm going to press shift to resize this. So that I don't see any of that orange and then I'm going to press enter then I'm going to click right click it create clipping mask and then I'm just going to drag this over a little bit and now my skier is in place now I just need to customize the words hey that was easy 
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this tutorial or any of our products, you can always reach us at easydigitals.com. Have a creative day.